Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on WebLogic. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to deploy ER that is enterprise archive files as well as how to deploy WAR that is web archive files. So in order to demonstrate, we have to create few of the projects. So this is the Eclipse tool using Eclipse tool developers develop the application. So there are two types of application we can deploy on the web logic. First is called as a web application and the other is called as an enterprise application. Or we can have the web services as well. So the in order to create web application, the developers will go to this file new and inside new they have the dynamic web project. For example, this. So let me show you how they to create sample just name if you want to give any runtime you can just give the runtime click on the next and click finish so this will create a web project and in that web project the developers will do some custom development so on the same line i have created a dyna web project we have not implemented anything just it is simple project with no classes the other project is called as a enterprise project. In order to create enterprise project, you have to go to the file new and then go to the enterprise application project. You can give any name, there is no restriction. You can select the target runtime and just click finish. So it will create a enterprise project. So on the same line, I have created the EAP project. So EAP project is the same as a AR project which are both are this of enterprise application by looking at the logo of this application you can see what are the dynamic projects so you can see dynamic project hand was one globe on the same line one one which we created ER file has some ER file enterprise symbol at the corner so it's very easy to real understand these projects in the Eclipse tool now how to create war file in order to create war file you have to go to the dynamic project dynamic web project right click and there is export button and click on the war so it will create for example if you just choose this is the directory i choose and we'll just create one and export and this will create a war file if you want to create ER file, just click on right click on the EAP file or enterprise application file, export and it will create a ER file. You can choose any application name. There is no restriction on the name convention and finish. So this will create files for us. So I already created a DynaWeb project and EAP project and just we exported and I shown you how to create this EAR that is enterprise archive and war nothing but babe archive now once we are done with this creation of the project the next thing you have to start the web logic server so you have to make sure your web logic server are up and running also not only the admin server but also the web server or managed server should be up and running so in my current environment I have one managed server and two one admin server and two managed server you can deploy on either of this server but normally in real time we deploy the applications on managed server because managed server are more responsible for the application related activities and the admin server will responsible for doing the administration work of the web logic so in order to deploy a war file you have to go to the deployments click on the install so whenever you click on the deployment you will see the three section configuration control and monitoring configuration section or tab will help us to deploy the web application control tab will help us to start and stop the web application and then monitoring help us to monitor the application so let's click on the install button Install is used to install the web application or ER enterprise application. Update to make updates and delete to delete the application. So in order to install, you have to click the install button. 
and when you click on the install it take us to the next screen where we have to choose the application which we want to deploy so let's start with the deploying web application so you have to select the web application so you can see here you can see uh, the application name is appear if you want to choose any other directory you have the privilege to choose that directory next click on the next when you click on the next it will take us to the what type of application it is it is a deployment as an application or deployment as a library if you are deploying a dot jar file so it is like kind of api or it's a kind of service so in that case you have to use the install this app deployment as a library if you are installing war file or if you are installing er file you have to choose as a application so i'll choose install this deployment as as an application click on the next it will take us to the next screen what is the target for the deployment that means on which server you want to deploy this application i'll just choose choose the manage to server of course we can choose any of this server there is no restriction but for this demonstration i will just choose one server and that is manage to click on the next in the next screen we will see the what is the name if you want to change the name you can change here along with that we have other configurations such as what kind of security model do you want to use dd only custom roles custom roles and policies advanced etc so let's make it dd only by default what are coming security can be updated later on how should the source file be made accessible use the default def uh, defined by the deployment target this is default selected recommended selection copy this application onto every target for me it will copy to all the targets i will make deployment accessible for the following location so anyone can do that from that deployment directory and normally we have the deployment directory where normally the application get placed P plan source access accessibility how should i plan source files be made accessible use the same accessibility as the application or you can copy the file onto the every target for me or you can choose do not copy this plan to target it depends on the uh, business need but default for now we'll keep as a default one then click on the next <coughs> it will give you a uh, kind of <coughs> summary and it tells us do you want to take to me deployment configuration page or do you want to don't want to make any changes in your deployment so let's have that sele default selection and click on the finish once you are click on the finish if your application is too big it will take few minutes to deploy otherwise this applic if there is no more much code in that case it will deploy very immediately once it is deployed <coughs> you will see the various sections so this is nothing but you are able to see this is deployment related or the application related properties such as overview deployment plan configuration security target control testing monitoring and nodes we will see in detail each of this section but just for sake of knowing we'll just go to the testing section for now and you will see all the available deployed links or you can access the application using this links if you if you don't select at the last moment the take me to the last deployment section then it will take us to this original page where you can see the application get deployed here also you can expand and you will see the various options and if you see the if you click on that application it will take us to the same page where we just got so this is the deployment of war file that is web archive now suppose you want to stop this application so you have to go to the control select that currently it is active and health is okay that means application is running if you want to stop just click for stop and now the state is get to prepared so it is getting ready for stopping the application if you want to refresh there is a uh, just you have to F5 you can do the F5 or you can just click on the deployment and it will refresh automatically until it get re uh, stop we can have the privilege we can parallelly run the other installation so let's install the ER file in order to install ER file 
click on the install select the ER one which you want to install click next have the default selection here we'll choose again manage to server click or uh, take the all the default selection click on the next and click on the finish so it will take us to the war deployment model and it will show us what are the options available like the testing or overview administration etc so you can see the overview testing so we'll see all this in our upcoming session just for the sake of testing you can see the the application is deployed and testing section will have the link available right now there is no code available that is the reason links are not generated if you go back to the deployments at that time you will see the two application one is dynaway project and second is eap project so this eap project is still in deployment phase because it you can see it is prepared so we, we have to give some some time to start and here at the sign when you make any changes you have to activate those changes if you revert if you if you want to revert the changes you have to click uh, revert or un unche unchange the list so it is just uh, starting so suppose you want to this act this application is still in prepare state health is not given or not mentioned so either you can wait or you can just click on the start it will start for us it says could not read this er file error was encountered while performing this operation the reason this is giving this error is the application is still not deployed so until it get deployed properly we have to wait so let's wait for that on the monitoring tab you can see the what are the things you can monitor like web application resource adapter ejb jms web services web service clients jax rs application jdbc and workload so this is very simple and straightforward in order to deploy you have to just use the install button and follow the steps i hope this tutorial is going to help you to how to deploy er and war file using the Ad weblogic admin console if you have any questions or queries do not mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time